Welcome to a journey through time, where we witness the evolution of sustainable architecture. This isn't just about modern buildings sprouting green roofs and solar panels. No, it's a tale of innovation, environmental awareness, and the intertwining of the two throughout human history. From the earliest civilizations to the present day, we've been shaping and reshaping our built environment in attempts to coexist harmoniously with Mother Nature. As we delve into the past, we find that sustainable architecture has deep roots in ancient civilizations. Our journey commences with the ancient civilizations, where sustainability was an integral part of architecture. The Anasazi Indians, in harmony with nature, constructed cliff dwellings oriented to maximize solar gain. Their homes, snugly tucked into the cliffside, basked in the warmth of the winter sun, while the overhanging cliffs provided cool shade during the sweltering summer. Concurrently, Egyptian and Middle Eastern architects were employing their own sustainable practices. They built with thick walls and courtyards, creating a natural cooling effect to combat the desert heat. Their homes and public spaces were designed as an oasis of coolness amidst the searing landscape. Over in Greece and Rome, cities were carefully planned for optimal sun exposure and wind flow. The streets were laid out to catch the breezy sea winds, while buildings were positioned to soak up the sun's heat during winter and stay in the shade during summer. Moving ahead in time, we reach the era of castles and cathedrals, where sustainability took a different form. Thick stone walls and high thermal mass were the sustainability secrets of the medieval times. Europe's grand castles and towering churches with their thick stone walls acted as natural insulators, maintaining stable temperatures within. These massive structures stored heat in the day and released it slowly as temperatures dropped at night, minimizing the need for artificial heating or cooling. Moving forward in time, the Renaissance era brought forth a new wave of architectural innovation. Architects started to design buildings with a focus on natural light and ventilation. A key figure in this movement was Andrea Palladio, an Italian Renaissance architect known for his brilliant villas. His designs featured large windows for natural light and cross-ventilation, reducing reliance on artificial light and promoting air circulation. These architectural practices showcase how our ancestors adapted and innovated, using what was available to them to create sustainable living spaces. The Industrial Revolution brought about a drastic change in the architectural landscape, leading to a rethinking of sustainable practices. The rise of modernist architecture brought aesthetics to the forefront, often sidelining environmental considerations. The Industrial Revolution, with its smoke-belching factories and cramped urban spaces, took a significant toll on the environment. In response, the late 19th century saw the birth of the Garden City movement, led by Ebenezer Howard. This movement championed the concept of self-contained communities surrounded by green belts, aiming to combine the best of both urban and rural life. However, it was the energy crisis of the 1970s that truly sparked a shift in architectural thinking. With oil prices skyrocketing and natural resources dwindling, the need for energy-efficient designs became apparent. This period marked the birth of modern sustainable architecture, a movement that sought to harmonize aesthetic design with environmental responsibility. This new approach to architecture has given rise to iconic sustainable buildings like Norman Foster's Gherkin in London and the California Academy of Sciences by Renzo Piano. Both structures are not only visually stunning, but also incorporate features like energy-efficient lighting and temperature control, rainwater harvesting, and green roofs. Innovation didn't stop at design. New materials such as recycled steel and self-healing concrete have revolutionized the construction industry. Technologies like photovoltaic glass, which generates electricity while providing insulation, have also emerged. As we stand at the threshold of a new era, the future of sustainable architecture holds immense promise. The future of sustainable architecture is teeming with exciting concepts like vertical forests, smart cities, and zero energy buildings. Picture skyscrapers draped in greenery, cities that respond intuitively to our needs, buildings that produce as much energy as they consume. These are no longer flights of fantasy, but the building blocks of our future. Sustainable architecture will play a pivotal role in combating the greatest challenge of our time climate change. By integrating renewable energy sources, maximizing energy efficiency, and utilizing sustainable materials, we are not just designing buildings, but we're fostering healthier, more resilient communities. As we look to the future, the importance of sustainable architecture in shaping our world cannot be overstated. It is an expression of our environmental stewardship, a reflection of our values, 
and a testament to our ingenuity. Remember, every structure we build is a testament to our commitment to the environment and a step towards a sustainable future.